Hello everybody. Well, for today's video, I thought I would show you how I make an ASMR video. So I have already recorded a video of me eating different snack foods from around the world. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to edit that together and get it ready to put out on YouTube. So the first thing I need to do is launch Premiere. So let's do that, get it loading. Sometimes it takes a while to open up and get ready to go. So I um, wanted to show you a fairly extensive editing video and it looks like I'm going to be able to do that because I had a few incidents while I was recording this, nothing major, but a few things that need to be edited out. So that'll be good because some videos I shoot, especially the shorter ones, just kind of uh, do not require much editing. But this one will give you a good look. So we're going to click on new project. You can see here are some of the other videos that I've recently done. And we are going to name this Snacks. And we'll name that the same. So that's all the parameters of the size of the video and the frame rate and stuff like that. And those are always the same. So I don't have to worry about setting those since the ASMR videos are the only videos that I create. Okay, so here's the interface, how I have Premiere set up. This is the place where all of my raw files will go. So I can just click anywhere in here and it will pull up my hard drive and I can select my media. So here we have the opening title that I always put in my videos. So let's import that. Then we'll come down here to raw video. And here we have international snacks. I will just select all of those and click import. Since it's three video files and three audio files. And you'll notice down here in the very bottom right hand corner, it'll say conforming and it'll have a little progress bar showing that it is working on the, um, the videos and the audio, kind of getting them ready to be worked with. So down here in the timeline is where we do most of our work. And then this is where we will see the results here. So we want to drag the first video. We're going to drag it all the way down here. It's going to say change the sequence setting and I always say yes. Okay. And here we see some delicious pretzels. So I'm going to open up this audio track. And you will see here this little bar for left and right channel, two of them. And they have little lines that are thicker and thinner. And those represent the wave file, or the audio waves as they are recorded. So here we have the audio that has been recorded from my microphone. So we want to match those up. So let's drag that down. And you'll see this has the same little waveforms. Now the trick that I use to make sure that my audio lines up with my video is that I clap. And it makes these little spikes here in the audio clip, so it's very easy. So here we have these place in the audio that is attached to the video that was recording at the same time. Here are the spikes here, and here are the spikes that were recorded on my microphone. So we'll line those up. 
And so now we know that the audio is synced. And I do not use the audio that is recorded by my camera since the audio from my microphone is so much better. So I'll click that little icon there and turn that off. And zoom back out here with my keyboard shortcuts. Okay, so that's where I start talking. So let's back up just a little bit. I'm going to hit C on my keyboard. I use this little razor blade. And I'm going to cut everything out before that. So that is the beginning of my video. Drag it back to the beginning of the timeline. And now I want to put my opening title over top of it that has my logo. Okay. So I'm going to get it right before it fades in. Cut that part out. And I'm changing tools by using the sh keyboard shortcuts. So that's, if you see the tool changing, that's what I'm using to change the tools. Now over here are some different video effects and audio effects that I can use and also transitions. I always just use the cross dissolve transition. It seems to be the standard basic transition that doesn't have a lot of flash or anything to it, doesn't get in the way. So now we have the both of these fading up at the same time, and then I start talking. But this is covering up the video. So I want to change the effects. So here's the effects control. The opacity is what I want to change. And I want to change it instead of normal to multiply. And that makes kind of like a watermark over top of my video. And then I want to fade that out. Okay. So that's the opening of my video. Now normally I have my headphones on and I'm listening to the audio of the video through my headphones, but I'm not, since I have my binaural uh, microphones in my ears right now. So let's zoom out here a little bit and let's go down to the end here. I'm trying to open up a soda pop bottle of a different configuration than I'm used to. And it doesn't look like it's going to work, so... Okay, so that's where I start to turn everything off. Because I'm going to open this off camera. Because I do not know how loud of a sound it's going to make. So I'm going to cut it there. Then I'm going to bring in my second video, and I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first one. Zoom in here, line up my Audios. Okay. Lining them up visually is definitely easier than trying to do it any other way. Okay, get that big sniff out of there. I don't need that. And delete that. Now, eventually I will put a transition in there and dissolve those one into the other. But I know that I'm probably going to have some more edits to go, so right now I'm just laying out the, the major chunks of the video. And this is going to be a nice long video. Now what happened here is my video, my camera, just stopped recording. If I ate that without knowing, 
flavor it was supposed to be. I don't think I would have ever guessed honey. Okay. Well, that's good. It stopped recording right after a phrase, so it didn't stop in the middle of my speaking, which is good. Unfortunately, I did not recognize that it had gone off. You can tell that I kept on speaking for a little while after it stopped recording. So, bring in my third video and my third audio. Zoom in here. Sounds like there's a little bit of difference. Yep, I need to move it like one frame over. There we go. Okay. So that is a very rough length of the video. You see it is almost an hour long, 50, 54 minutes, but there will be, be cutting out a few minutes of that. Thanks. Thanks. Let's wrap it up here. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Cut it out before I start mashing buttons on the camera. And we know we're going to fade that out. Okay. Now, always save. <laughs> now, there were at least three areas I know of that I need to edit out. One of them was an unfortunate flushing of the toilet by my son. And I think I clapped after that happened. And then there was another one where my mother-in-law came in and talked to me and she has Alzheimer's so I just kind of let her talk until she decided she wanted to leave so I think that happens around here somewhere so okay here's a clap let's listen here we go that's kind of loud. Okay, I'm going to turn this audio off. You'll notice here this bar. And see those green bars that go up and down while the audio is playing. If they hit here and turn red, that means that there is a spike in the audio and it is too loud. And it is... Um, can sometimes sound very strange in headphones. So I'll have to watch out for that and tone down the places where that happens. But for now, we're just going to try to edit out this flushing sound. Okay, it was like this always with the Well, I start to type things I want to the sound. Mm -hmm. There I am. Hungrily eating peanuts. I don't think I was talking when it happened, so... It's hard when you don't have headphones on. Okay, so it must be right in there because I stopped talking, I stopped doing everything. Okay. So I'm going to cut this right here until after I clap. Okay, so that lets me know. Okay. So 
I already said OK once, so I don't need to say OK, OK. And we'll cut it right there. Take that out. Move this over. And then let's dissolve these and see what it's like. Okay. Sounds pretty good. Save that. Now there was another spot where I had the sniffles and kind of snuffled, snuffled my nose, whatever word you use for that. But I think I clapped after that as well. It's hard to tell with all these other little spiky things. My clapping was not as distinctive. Well, I haven't decided whether I'm going to release this video first or the eating video first, but I think I'm going to release the eating video first. Otherwise, this is going to be major spoiler, right? I think my sniffing my nose happened in this. So let me scrub this really fast and see. Welcome to the world of video editing, right? These wonderfully bright candies. Well, I will find the snuffling noise later. Right now, let me... Marbles look kinky. I want to get on my hands. Okay, so there I finished a phrase. Marbles look kinky. I want to get on my hands. I think I can cut it right there. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, here she is walking in. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Now let's okay. see. Thank you for watching. Now here I try to finish the video. And then she starts rubbing her hands, which she does a lot. So I knew that I couldn't use finish the video with her there. So I hear I'm trying to just distract her. Okay, so there she's talking. And she talks to me for a little bit and then she leaves. So thank you all for okay. watching. Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here. And then move these together. Let's see what that looks like when I blend them together. So thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this 
pulmonary infantry. Okay, I think that'll have to do. Now, there was another place that I needed to edit. I have to remember what it was. Besides the sniffling. Oh, I changed the camera angle. When I started working with the... Yeah, okay. Because the bottle is so tall. This is melon flavored carbonated drink. And what intrigued me about it was the fact that it has this weird dermis thing here. That's okay. Okay. Position the camera to get the full effect. So I told him I was going to reposition the camera. transition pose and I've noticed that I have my microphones in the shot and that always bugs me when that happens so let's see here okay so I'm going to select all of these and I'm going to drag this over Transition those. So, then I'm going to bring this to where I. Reposition the camera again. Very low model flavor. Yes. Okay. Let's move on to another thing that's sweet. So proud of Sarah. I'm going to reposition the camera again so you can see closer to what's going to happen next. Okay. Now. Okay. I seem to say okay a lot. Don't I? But that's okay. Now, since I don't like it when I can see the microphone in an ASMR video, I am going to edit this and I'm going to change the scale and I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. 110% seems to be good. 110% here. Match that. There we go. And that just crops out the microphones. And let's see if we can track down a little bit. Not that way. Yeah. I'm going to bring, because now that it's bigger, the video is larger. Some of it was bleeding off the top of the screen, and I don't want that to happen. So let's show as much of the top, especially since we're looking at this soda bottle. Okay. Good. So that takes care of repositioning the camera. And that takes care of that transition. Okay. 
pretty cross dissolve there as well. Okay. Okay. I feel like I'm talking over myself with this video. Part of me speaking in the video and part of me speaking to you now. Cross dissolve there. And I explained that the camera cut out, so I don't need to put any kind of text, I don't think, to explain. So now I just have to find that spot that I sniffed in. And then hear that loud pop. I need to soften those. So I'm going to see if I can find a part where I sniffed, if I can hear it, or if I can So we watch them disappear one by one. Lots of loud plastic bag sounds in this video. That was when I burped. <laughs> okay. Okay. So let's cut that here. And I put the lid back on. Okay. I try to make any kind of thing like that as seamless as I can and reset things if I have not done something that I can't reverse. So let's see. Okay. Okay, so I figured people did not want to hear me burping in their ear even though it was a small one. So we'll transition this. Okay. Well, that should show you a pretty good overview of how I edit a video. I'm going to go through and change the parts where this um, video sp audio spikes too loudly, but I don't want you to have to sit here through that because that'll be very tedious. But once I do that, mess with the audio a little bit, I will basically go up here to File and Export, Export Media. And here's where I will set everything that I need to set for my video. I set those two things. Everything else is the same. And I will hit the Export button. And then I will wait a long time for the export, especially since this is like coming in at 51 minutes. 
and then I will wait a long time for it to upload. So I hope you've enjoyed this kind of behind the scenes look at how to create an ASMR video. And once I finish editing this video of the candies, I will have to edit the video of this screen capture. So thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. Comment in this video if anything you like, and I will see you guys later. Bye.